In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. We come to celebrate the sixth Sunday of Easter. And in the gospel, we're going to hear the very gift of Jesus Christ to his disciples and also to the entire world, especially to those who believe in him. Peace, peace that the world cannot give is only Jesus, is only God who can give it and even will fulfill it unto eternal life. So that we may be worthy celebrating this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord his kindness and mercy. Together we say, I confess yes. to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and, sisters, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, in my words, and what, what I have done, and what, what I have failed to do. To do. True my fault, true my fault, true my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, ask the, the most Mary, blessed ever virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. 
Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul, Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and elders about this question. The apostles and elders, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the, del is, this is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the elders, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey the same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down of, out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which Names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. 
There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stone as its foundation, on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am still with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. The sixth Sunday in the season of Easter is just a week before Pentecost. But our gospel reading today is bringing us back to the scene of the Last Supper. You know, people just don't realize that even in that particular event, there were many words or teachings that Jesus uh, pronounced and said to his disciples. And we always call to mind as if they were just having a meal and, and there was that, that a particular e incident when uh, there was a dipping into the morsel and Jesus was highlighting Judas. But actually there were a lot of things, beautiful things that took place. And now we're being asked to imagine as if we are gathered together with the twelve around its sacred table with Jesus Christ. And I'd like for you to also at the same time as the gospel reading, 
was proclaimed as if you were also there listening to his words, which are both mysterious and glorious. It is Christ's last meal with his closest followers. He wants to leave them a parting gift. What is, what is that? And what does Christ want to bestow to his apostles at the Last Supper? It is peace. A peace, he said, I live with you. My peace, I give you. The peace that is that in Christ's mind is not as the world gives, but as Christ gives it to you. Christ's peace is lasting. It is interior peace of the heart, which overflows into the peace and in our homes, in our families, in our community, and in the entire society, and even to the entire world. You know, this is the one that we should continue to cultivate and even continue to um, uh, grow in each one of us. It is the peace that comes from knowing without any doubt whatsoever that we are loved by God, that we are loved by Jesus, that whenever we're, we offend him, he will always be ready to forgive us, uh, that we have a purpose in life, a mission, the very mission that Christ himself has given us to spread his kingdom, the kingdom of peace that we anticipate that would be lasting, that could also be our mission that we have to spread here in the world. As today's psalm puts it, to make his way known upon earth among all nations, his salvation, only because Christ has given us this peace uh, by giving us faith in his love, mercy, and mission, he can command us, do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Don't, don't be worried about many things that are impacting negative things in our emotions and even in our lives, not only here locally and even throughout the world. If our peace is based on anything else, on popularity, on wealth, on comfort or power, it would be unstable because all those things are vulnerable to change. But Christ's peace is not vulnerable because it is based on his love, on his mercy, and on his mission, and those are everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We now please stand and we profess our faith. We say, I believe, I believe in one God, God the, the Father Almighty, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him, him all things, things were, were made. made. For, for us men and for, and for our salvation, he came, he came down, down, from, down from, heaven, from heaven and by, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, became and became man. man. For our, our sake, he was crucified under Pontius, under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death, death and was buried, was buried and, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended heaven, into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess, I confess one, one baptism for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, sins and, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. With hearts longing for the coming of the Holy Spirit, we turn now to God to pray for all in need. For the Church, that we may always seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit as we witness to our faith in a constantly changing world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine, and for leaders who seek ways of peace rather than war. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who were initiated into the church this Easter, that they may be a sign of hope and renewal in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For our parish community, that like the early church, we may be guided by the Holy Spirit as we make decisions and fulfill our mission. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all those on our website's vigil light list and written in our book of prayer intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the sick, may their health be restored. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may they be welcomed into God's heavenly city. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Also, we include the intention of our prayers in this month of May. We pray to, to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, in this great season of rejoicing, fill us with the spirit of your love and peace. Hear our prayers for all people and bring us at last to your holy city, Jerusalem. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, true Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For when the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse Joseph, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert McElroy, our bishop, his assistants, John and Ramon, the whole order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, true Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
O glory and honor is yours, O God Almighty, Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously. Grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are you called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in the right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of the loving and merciful God descend upon you, remain with you always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. <laughs>